So we've made it to Mexico. We arrived yesterday. The flight was fine. It was what, three and a half hours? Wasn't too bad. Yeah, we were gonna get a bus. Well, we thought we needed to get a bus to, to the place. Um, we weren't sure. But it took us a while. We found out there was a tube stop just nearby. It was what, like a five or 10 minute walk. Yeah, it was a bit chaotic to be honest. Our bags were really heavy. We weren't exactly where, sure where to go. But yeah, we found it in the end, absolutely fine. The station was what, 10, 15 minute walk to the yeah. hotel. Yeah, Mexico is amazing. We're absolutely loving it. It's a beautiful city. Everyone is extremely friendly. Uh, people stopped us on the road. We were a bit unsure about talking with them. Just because where we come from, we're used to, they stop you, they ask you for money, but people was just seeing us with bags and they were just trying to help us. Like so many people on the tube and on the road just trying to help us generally. Everyone is super friendly. They don't speak much English, but they still try to understand everything you say. They still try to talk to you. It's just, it's just an amazing culture so far. Yeah. So our accommodation is near the center of the city. It's a beautiful Airbnb, a tiny little room, but really cozy, really lovely, sparkling clean, a beautiful place. Uh, the building we stay in has got a roof terrace. It also has got um, an inside court where you can uh, sit with tables, a shared kitchen, and we also got a kitchen in our little apartment. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's got a swimming pool as well, a gym, a lot of shared, shared space. Yeah, so when we got here, we was like, we need to go and get some food. We went to the place that was closest to us and it was absolutely incredible. I think we paid something like five pound for like two courses in total between two of us. Yeah. We've been there twice since we've been there. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna head there now and get some food. So we just had breakfast, it was amazing as always. Oh, so good. Really filling, they just want to feed you here, it's, <laughs> it's brilliant. So where are we going Martin? So we're going to go and see the um, Palace of uh, Belle Arti, that's in Italian, I don't know what's in Spanish, sorry, or in English. Um, yeah, and there is the Diego Rivera Museum nearby. If you don't know who Diego Rivera is, he's an amazing uh, artist from the beginning of the 1900s that lived in Mexico City. He was actually the husband of um, Frida Kahlo, which you're probably more familiar with. But yeah, his art is absolutely amazing. We're gonna go and see some of the, uh, the murales, graffiti around the city. So we're just on our way to go and see the palace. Um, we hadn't looked, we, we'd planned to come here, but we didn't see it on the map. Um, and we've ended up at the uh, Monument of the Revolution. It's absolutely incredible, it's massive. Uh, apparently it's, it's, it's the biggest arc in the world. Big, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Big, biggest, biggest, yeah, yeah. Big, biggest arch in the world. Um, yeah, it was initially built uh, the, during the regime of uh, President Diaz. And then uh, the revolution started in Mexico and when he finished it 25 years after, they built uh, this arch and actually dedicated it to the revolution. So I think it's beautiful. So where our uh, apartment is, um, it's probably a little bit more what we was expecting Mexico to be like. There's loads of like street food, it seems a bit more traditional, it's really cool. Uh, we knew that there was a kind of downtown with like, the, you know, uh, office district, big buildings and stuff, but we're a bit shocked, it's massive. Um, bigger squares than even in LA. Uh, really, really cool, uh, bustling, loads of life. So we 
made a bit of a rookie mistake yesterday. Uh, <laughs> we let the batteries run out. Anyway, we met up with a bit of a family friend yesterday who lives in Mexico, so it's my brother-in-law's uncle. And we're meeting up with him again today and he's gonna take us to do a bit of sightseeing. So yeah, hopefully today we get to see the cathedral. We headed through downtown and picked things up where we left off yesterday, visiting the Palace of Fine Arts, which was absolutely stunning. Just across the street is the Palacio de Correos, which is the main postal office for Mexico City. We probably would have passed this by and not explored the beautiful, unique interior of the building, which Gordon, our guide for the day, insisted was worth a visit. Just a step from the postal office is the Casa de los Azulejos, or the House of Tiles, a beautiful palace known for its ornate tile facade. It's now a restaurant which offers authentic Mexican food, but you're free to go inside and check out the beautiful two-story palace, even if you're not eating. We then made our way towards Ocalo, which is the main square in Mexico City. Along the way, we stopped at a free exhibition showcasing Mexican pop art of the last 20 years. Situated in the square is the Metropolitan Cathedral and the National Palace, two places you should definitely visit if you're travelling here. This site has been a place for the ruling class of Mexico since the Aztec Empire and right next to the cathedral are the ruins of the Templo Mayor. After walking the best part of the Centro Historico, we took full advantage of our guide's local knowledge, who showed us around some of the best cantinas and pub in the area for beers and tacos. The last cantina we were taken to was highly recommended as a hidden gem. There was no sign on the door outside and the seating was set through a corridor out of the way as if it didn't want to be found. When we arrived it was completely empty but as the night went on it filled to capacity and the atmosphere was amazing. After an evening of tequila and tacos we decided we should get on our feet on the third day to explore Chapultepec which is the largest park in Mexico City and has an historical castle to explore on its highest point.
the ticket to visit the castle was 75 pesos per person, which is about 3 pounds. There was a sign that said we should pay an extra 45 pesos for permission to film, but we didn't get charged for it. The castle hosts a very interesting exhibition on the modern history of Mexico and also live music events. It's worth the ticket price as the castle is kept in pristine condition and is a popular attraction for local and foreign tourists alike. We left the castle to explore some more of the park and make our way towards Los Pinos. Los Pinos was the official residence and office of the President of Mexico up until last year when the new president opened its gates to the public and took residence in a modest building in the city. Security is quite heavy as you enter, but there is no entrance fee. The building now hosts some great works of modern art and has some beautiful gardens, definitely worth a visit. Yeah. 